Well, you know, things went perfect. Uh, I think he had a sensational performance, maybe his best performance in a long time, maybe ever. But, uh, but uh, you know, our plan was to go through the rounds. Uh, you know, I told him after the first round, you know, he's a perfect opponent uh, to shine, to look beautiful. We got 12 rounds, uh, little by little, break them down, and we'll knock them out. But it happened, it happened in the third round, and uh, why not finish it? He did what he had to do. Uh, uh, as it was hurt, why not finish him? Well, I seen that right away uh, as, as, the bell, as the first bell rang, and, uh, you know, we were expecting as it to bring it to him, and and when he did in the third or fourth round, he was actually not not doing too bad. So, uh, so I don't know. Only he knows why. He knows the tremendous power that Anonito has. He felt it. He's seen it with his friends uh, from from Mochi's uh, uh, Montiel. He's seen it. You know. So, so he was very cautious. I'm pretty sure he was worried. And uh, and uh, and I don't blame him. As soon as uh, the first round started, and like you said, we seen that he was he wasn't coming after us like like we expected. So he was very very cautious. And it was just a matter of time. That's when I told Anonito, you know what? Just shine. Go out and shine. And he did. It was sooner than what I expected, but he did. Oh, you know, I think I think there's no there's there's no stop to what he can do. He's he's got a tremendous future. He's uh, he's young. He's he's hungry. He wants to accomplish so many things uh, inside and outside of the ring. Uh, outside of the ring, people don't know him, but you know he he has a tremendous life, beautiful life, beautiful family, uh, beautiful wife. So uh, you know soon he'll start having families, kids and stuff like that. So uh, so you know he's, he's just not. No, no stop to what he can do, accomplish inside and outside of the ring. I think having having your family, your your close friends, your relatives around and supporting you, and and being there every day throughout training camp, I think that means a lot. And uh, and that's what Nonito has. A lot of fighters, they uh, they go to training camp for two or three months, don't see the family, don't see, don't see, uh, don't have even, don't, can't even make a phone call. And, uh, and that's when it starts hurting the, the fighters, the family, and, and they start having problems. I think uh, Nonito, the way he has his team, is just the way every team should be. The, you know, Nonito could fight anybody and they're going to be great fights. He's going to bring uh, his, the best out of him, great, great performances. If, if it was up to me, and he already said it, he would prefer to fight Maris because Maris is Mexican. Maris it would be huge in Vegas or, or in LA, but, uh, but Nonito has Cameron Duncan, his manager, and he makes those decisions. Maris has his managers, his promoters, and, and we have ours. You know, that's something that between them, I can't, uh, I can't make that decision, but I think Nonito's in a position right now where Maris has to beg Golden Boy to make that fight happen because Nonito don't have, don't need it. Nonito don't need it. Nonito could fight Rigo, Rigo and Dukes or, or or move up to featherweight and still and still be what he is right now. I think Maris needs Nonito more than Nonito needs Maris.